Well, traders know that even though we punch through some key technical levels, it's going to take a lot more for us to get to the next level. We're going to need growth metrics, not just jawboning from central banks. And so with that, traders will be closely watching China's trade numbers tonight, as well as all the PMI, the flash PMIs next week. Also, keep in mind that one mistake that we make is we, we, we tend to conflate positioning with sentiment, and we cannot do that because being long does not mean we're being bullish. So they're two very different things, and that's a mistake that a lot of us made this past week. You're exactly right. Maybe not today or this week, but eventually we will. I mean, let's consider the fact economic momentum is moving in the right direction in the U.S. China has definitely hit some potholes, but they're still moving. Eurozone might be economically or aerodynamically flawed. However, they are healing as well. So all those things combined, I'm seeing a 10 to 15 percent increase in the S&P 500 by year end.